quickly hit pause. Yep, hot start. Um, so this is Freedom Phase 1, Episode 3, Mission 4. Starting to lose count of which mission I'm on now. Um, and it starts the way it means to continue, this one. But uh, it's, it's a particularly good level, I've got to say. Um, having played through it, it did take me quite some time to find all the secrets. As you can see, there are seven secrets on this. Um, quite a few kills as well compared to the, the previous levels. 164 enemies to get through. Um, but it's not the lengthiest of levels in the world. Um, we've certainly had longer levels uh, within the, the first episode. Um, but there's a little bit of a technique to not getting overwhelmed at the start here i hope it's going to go well as you can see i've already got a cacodema looking at me when i'm holding the pistol but there is a shotgun in front of me and i recommend go clockwise around this so let's do exactly that so get rid of these enemies quickly and try and stay back from the edge there are some uh, hit scanners down there um Really, I want to just let a bit of in fighting happen. Get some ammo. I'm going to go all the way back round again. And then we can start filling out the crowd down there, but they're difficult to see. So just sort of lead them. Bit of crowd control. And yeah, you're popping up here, but you're fighting an imp. Let's let you fight the imp. Fighting them both. A royal rumble going on down there there we go right so i don't have much ammo save as much as i can um certainly best to stay up here until you cleared out the ads because ads is this an mmo uh <laughs> cleared out the monsters down there um because there is a round two which is about to occur um round two at least we will have some ammo for so let's grab it and here it starts I'm going to go up here where I've been seen already. I'm just trying to thin out the hit scanners mostly. Get some ammunition around here. Oh, not see you. I'll make them fight. And yeah, this little uh, quick floor lift. Um, it will catch you out occasionally if you're not paying attention. Have they finished? Their where the cacodemon go? Oh, there he is down there. Well, that spectre. There you are. I don't need that health. I'll remember that that health's there, though. That's useful to know. Now, the first secret is behind here, but we don't have access to it just yet. Um, did I get everything I need? Right. I think so. Of course, I've got to press the switch, haven't I? Where is the switch? Oh, switch is... I'm forgetting what I'm doing already. Switch is uh, around here. I've got to get those shells. Don't want to pick them up. And I'm walking through to here. Because a line death, which allows you in here. There we go. This switch just literally lets you back out again. Um... Next thing to do then is to go and stock up an ammo now that I've got a backpack. So let's grab that. And we'll be on our way. One secret down. Another secret coming up in a second or two. Finish those guys. There's a lot of opening of doors going on. Oh, it's the moving floor. Um, let's not go down there just yet. There is a little surprise. Let's just work out where we are. Um, and this, it's not the well, you know, the, the the best secret in terms of marking. How are you meant to see that? This is that, I've, I've mentioned this before. Now we'll go around here because we trigger our surprise. Um, if you're going to put a lot of detail in your level, don't have your only mark that this is difficult because of the invisibility. Um, the only mark that there's a secret be some decoration. Especially if the decoration matches all the rest of the decoration. I mean, that could have been different texture or something um yeah to make it stand out but you're basically asking the player to just go around hammering space on absolutely everything which is not fun so anyway that's where your secret is so you know it now um 
Lots of traps in this level too. Alright, we've finished him off. It's those gone. I'm trying to remember if there are any more secrets here. I don't think so. And we can't get through here because there is a switch to press. This is it. One. Thank you. And yet another surprise. There is plenty of pistol ammo. Bullets, I suppose. Don't want to get trapped down here with them. I think there might be a no monsters line there though. These guys just go on forever. Because you, you know, the one will replace the other one at the front and take all the fire. You whittle both down to low health um, before you've killed either. You're really using all my bullets. Thank you. Oh, that was stupid. Ow! Thank you. Right. I'm going to quick save. There are plenty of places in this map. And there's Christian ceilings later on. So I always quick save around those. But plenty of places to make a silly mistake. So... Let's move on then. We've uh, topped up on uh, on ammo a bit. We got much on this. 140. Okay, we will need a bit of that in a minute. Uh, there is a uh, chainsaw later on, but I don't have it yet. So shotgun ammo for later. Something just opened. There is a trap here. Nasty one. Shotgunners. Um, let's proceed. That's another secret there. In fact, it is a double secret, that one. Answers two, because there are two stages for it, but we can't get in from this side, so... Push him off. Push him off. Um, now, this little platform here is uh, important to the progression. We've got to remember this. Oh, where'd you come from? But this here, um, don't mind this secret. It is a different texture and it is in an odd place and you can just bump into it. It's just one of those walls you can walk through. That's secret number one. Secret number two is that one I mentioned earlier. Walk forwards and we get a nice bit of ammo and health there. It's your way out. You can't get back through the teleport. So uh, that's two more secrets off the list. You have to forgive me a little bit. I'm starting to get tapey of a season out here in the UK, and um, yeah, I'm starting to get a bit sniffly today. So uh, I apologise if there's any sniffing. Being out, it was uh, oh, stupid. Um, King's coronation yesterday, and they had a bit of a thing in the uh, in the village today, um, but yeah. I made a mistake. It was cold, so I put a big coat on, and then sort of 10 minutes into the walk, just at the point where it's not really worth turning around to go back, the sun came out, which isn't the most common thing in the world here in the UK, but um, yeah. Now there is a trap here too. I'm waiting for this to trigger. Here it is. Shock at these quite easily. Am I being overcautious here? Am I being boringly cautious? Probably. I do apologise. But uh, it's not that easy to strafe around and avoid hits whilst balancing on a tightrope. I mean, okay, that's no tightrope compared to some maps, but. Um, And I really hope there's none like that in uh, in Freedom because I don't really want to have to deal with one of those. That's not my kettle of fish. Let's go up here and I'll deal with them in a sec. Let's change the shotgun, but I need a second or two to do it. There we are. We get the yeah.
No. I'm just thinking the order. Should I get the next secret? No. There is a secret. It involves this pillar here, which I'll show you in a second. Oh, well, that lost soul lock lurking around there. Oh, there he is. He's over here. Inside of the cage. You can't get me. No. I'm dithering here a bit because I know what's going to happen. And I will hit the save button just in case. But we have company here. Let's get over here and deal with them. With a bit of space around me. What's this guy that's the pain? Um, I'm not going to go out onto the tightrope. I'll try and keep him in this corridor. I can more or less control the space I've got. There we go. Good stuff. Raid these rooms. I don't need that. I do want that though. And there we are. Secret. Around here. This isn't the secret I was talking about. I was thinking of getting earlier. This is yet another one. This one kits us up for the rest of the level pretty much. So it's a very good one. Now that other secret I will take on now. But we need to hit this button. I've already hit it, haven't I? Um, so what this has done, I'll show you. Because it is so easy to miss. You remember this I told you to, to look at earlier? This lift. Well, this lift is now higher. So rather than being about the height of that wall, that uh, tight ropey wall, it's now the height of this so that we can get up here. Now, that over there, it would be a bit of a problem to try and jump from here. I don't know whether or not you can catch that, that lip over here and sort of get across. Probably can actually, but it would be awkward. Um, I bet there's someone who can do it. So instead, we're going to find that wooden pillar that I pointed out earlier. Remember the way into it. Hmm. I'll go around that way. Hmm. Am I missing a step? Let me go... Let's have a look at the map. I need to pull the other side of the wall. So let's go through. Round. This is it. And this here is that pillar. And we can just walk through. And it teleports us. Um, behind us is a switch. And that's the important thing. It's also... To pop out some friends for us to play with. Verticality on this map is a bit awkward when you're not playing with mouse look. And I know I could just turn mouse look on in this source port, but... It's one of the, the few traditional things that I quite like to uh, to maintain. So, pressing that switch has raised the platform here, allowing me to get up there much more easily. Now, I don't think this triggers a secret. No, the secret that it triggered was actually finding it in the first place. So that uh, switch that I press getting to the, the switch is what registered as a secret. A cacodemon action in this. Find a cacodemon. These guys hide in. Another over here. Two shotgunners just trying to catch me out down here. Can be a bit awkward to deal with those, so it's worth paying a bit of extra attention to them. There's a shotgun there, isn't there? Yeah. There we go. Right, I expected all hell to break loose at that point, but uh, when I first pressed it, but no, we were relatively uh, quiet on that front here. There will be a little fight here, yeah, we're left without a fight. May not be an official id software level, but uh, it's still doom. And rules are rules, you can't put a key in without making them work for it, so. There we go. 
No, have I missed a secret? No, there's one last secret to go. Good. We've got the yellow key now. I like to think of situations like this where very little chance to get shot. Just a load of shotgunners. There's just another way of putting in an ammo. Drop, really. Slightly more fun and interesting way. Um, do you like it when that happens? Let's say, what? In terms of design, I thoroughly enjoy this level. It's got a moderate challenge, shall I say. Um, I am saving just in case. Um, but I don't remember on the few goes I had just trying to find the secrets. The secrets took the, took the real work. Um, but the few goes that I uh, tried to have, this doesn't open by the way, that requires a blue key. Um, I don't remember dying. I do remember getting close on a few occasions when I wasn't expecting a trap, but this can be a nasty room actually. Let's see why in a second. I've got to do the same thing again in a sec too. But they hide shotgunners down here. And uh, because of that you can end up with uh, a shotgun blast to the ear without expecting it. It's about to happen to me now because I just woke one up. Right. So this pulls me through to this room. I'm supposed to continue, however, I feel. Actually, well, yeah, we'll go through here and we'll go backwards the other way. trees there but uh, I ain't gonna turn down the ammo and yeah these guys pop up if I was just playing through the level I wouldn't even bother with these to be honest they're no real threat but uh, we want 100% kills don't we again second time I wonder why that pinky was taking so much beat it's because there's a spectre standing in front of it for half of the shots that I took any one of these would get me to where we were before here. Where'd you come from? I mean, I'm glad you popped up. That would have been a pain if I was one kill. Short at the end of the map searching. They're probably out of here, actually. There's a few that wander out. in the crowd a bit before we get all the barons involved in the fight and there's a few cacodemons as well Just to reduce the sheer amount of fireballs flying away. <laughs> Who did I miss? Uh, with a shotgun, of all things. The lost soul inches from my face, charging at me. Only I can manage that. Surely you're going to die at any time. Alright, finally. Oh. Actually, 
thinking about it. I was I was just going to save this ammo for uh, a bit further on, but um, thinking about it, there's not much space a bit further on. So you'll see in a sec. Um, so I probably don't want to be uh, throwing rockets around if I can help it in that situation. Um, that's just ammo. That's fine. And up here. Of course, that wasn't the end of it, was it? Oh, got myself stuck here. I don't mean to do that, but I bumped into the. Uh, oh, I do not want to get stuck behind you. Um, I should probably rocket these for the same reasons before I've got space here, but uh, I won't have space later. There we go. Save just in case. And we're looking at the, uh, the enemy count now, it's starting to get uh, close. So, 14 enemies to go, and I can already hear some of them. No, it's not through there, is it? So these teleports pop up. I'm not so sure why these pop up. It may be to do with that door that shuts. Maybe you can't get through that door, but all these do is pop your back here. So we don't need those. There's a couple more enemies. 12 to go. 11, 10 more. No. This is why I like to say, because one silly move here, and that could be it. That wouldn't be a satisfying ending. We've also missed a secret, haven't we? Thinking about it. We have just remembered where... I'm going to have to go back through these again. So, sorry. If you did need a bit of a break during this fight, you can always use this door. Again, it's not marked. Mm. You know, really good level, but it's not without. One or two issues, is it? But there we go, there's our secret. Give yourself a breather, but at the same time, you could end up pinned in this corner with, I mean, there's only a few imps in there and a few spectres and demons running around. I suppose Cacodemon could pin you in. So uh, yeah, be careful if you uh, if you do decide to use that. But that's more like it. Three more kills to go, and I know who those kills are. So whether I'm going to spend an entire video searching for an enemy. Always one that gets you. Right. We will save. I don't want it all to end here. I mean, the problem, biggest danger here is that one walks one way around this um, little central reservation bit. But I mean, this, this thing. And um, the other walks the other, and you end up pinned between the two of them. So you do need to, if you sort of know how Doom's crowd control, see what I mean, there's not much space. I was hoping I'd at least get a few rockets off. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, you can end up sort of pinned between them, but if you know how to control enemies um, using your own movement, then, you know, well, you don't have to put much effort into that. It's dead easy. And we need a blue key for that. So where does the blue key come from? It's over here. Might as well grab these just for the sake of it. Although, I don't think we're going to need these rockets for this guy. That's it. Hundred percent kills. Hundred percent secrets. We don't talk about items. Um. Yeah, brilliant level. Actually, genuinely enjoyed that level. Oh yeah. On my first sort of playthrough, or I would say halfway through the playthrough by that time, I was dreading having to record this. I'd been battered around because I didn't know about the traps. Um, I didn't know where the secrets were either, so uh, things like ammunition were really becoming a bit of an issue. Um, however, learning the level, 
it's it's not too difficult at all it really isn't it's uh, it's quite simple and um it's a it's a fun one to play it looks good the music's really good i should have mentioned the music while it was playing but the music on that level and the previous level i've got to admit um you know episode three mission three the, the music's been been particularly good so far so uh um let's hope that the uh that standard keeps up for the next few levels then thanks for watching